Are you serious? That's where the cups are? Yeah. Yeah. That's so hillbilly, dude. I can't believe you put cups in the door. You want some pizza? Oh, uh, no. No. Thank you. Do you want me to send you pizza? No. Things have been a little rocky between Bobby and Chance. She doesn't really leave her room. I want them to get along, and I feel like it's not a very good start to what's supposed to be a happy future. You want to try mom? No, I got my own. OK, excuse me. It's the first Supreme pizza that I've had in, like, almost 10 years. And you won't even let me feed you a piece of mine? I'm wondering why you haven't even eaten any of yours. Because... What have you been doing all day? Are you not hungry? You're not going to eat dinner with me? She's hungry. Why are you so on if I'm eating my because pizza? Because you usually eat with me, and you're not. Pizza. And I'm wondering why. Yeah. It's 8 o'clock at night. Why would I feel like eating at 8 o'clock at night? Well, I think I'm going to go get my butt in the shower, because it's 8 o'clock at night. Why are you cool? being cranky? Listen. You're being really <clears throat> crazy and mean. I'm not being crazy and mean, dude. I'm just wondering what the hell's up with my girlfriend. You're really mad at me right now over some pizza? What if what I don't feel like school? eating? Well, then why the f do we order a pizza if you don't feel like eating? I don't like seeing Chance yell or be mad about anything. It makes me uncomfortable. Actually, in front of the girls, I'm not really the one to be fighting in front of the kids. I'm a, I do want to take a shower, though. I'm cranky. I'm tired. And I'm frustrated, man. I've got bad news about my license today. I get it, but you don't have to take it on me. Mama. I wasn't taking it out on you. If you didn't want to eat dinner with me, don't fake about it. All right, Athena, are you done eating or are you still eating? Jacqueline, you ready for bed, baby? I just don't want it to be this way. There you go. Like, at the end of the day, it's my life, too. So I'm going to say something. I'm going to speak whatever on my mind. I don't care who it is or who's around or who might hear me, because if there's something to know, tell me. If there ain't, then act right. And if you ain't acting right, I want to know why. If you said it ain't nothing, I don't believe you. No, you're a liar, too. Are you OK? Yeah, I'm all right. I mean, just a little bit worried about the upset, because really? I'm sorry he's being such a No, I definitely didn't want it to be this way. Like, I really just wanted him to come home and everything be perfect. And I just feel like a little overwhelmed with it. I didn't really think that prison had affected me the way that it did. I find myself sometimes, like, evaluating people like, is this guy's got motives or what are they, you know, are they trying to get something off? I don't think he should, you know, be arguing about pizza and stuff this early in the relationship. Yeah, I know. I don't want to take it out on people who don't deserve it. I know that you're always here for me. I love you for that. I love you too. So come here. Yeah, I know it's warm under here. Put your leg over mine. And I'm cold. That's all right. <sighs> I mean, this is more comfortable for me. Yeah, I bet it is. <laughs> After I got notified that my license were suspended, I flipped out on Taylor for no reason at all. No. I'm getting aggravated because you're not doing what I'm asking you to do. I'm I not a miracle it, so worker. I definitely overreacted. <sighs> there has to be communication in a relationship to succeed, and that is definitely something I need to do better. So you haven't showed me anything. All your paperwork that you brought home. Oh, you wanna you wanna photo see my album, your yeah. tablet, you haven't showed me nothing. Okay. Well what do you wanna look at, baby? All of it. <laughs> oh, well, you can show Hold it. on, wait. I what? wanna look at all these phone numbers. Let me see all the people you've been talking to. I will show you. Let me put them together, dude. Mm -hmm. Look, first of all, I told you about all the girls I was talking to when we first started talking. You didn't tell me you kept their phone numbers. Well, they're not just girls that I was talking to. Like, look, over well, here. Well, I don't know. That's a here. girl. That's a girl. That's a girl. Uh, this whole row is girls. I have 38 female cousins, and I talked to every one of them. Hmm. So you're going to see 38 female phone numbers here on this page. And then this row is all the girls. 
<laughs> kind of makes me a little bit um, annoyed in a way, just because I mean, he didn't really want me to have guy friends, so I feel like he shouldn't have girlfriends. I feel like it's something he should have got rid of by now. I mean, okay, yeah, there was about 15 of these that were trying to be in a relationship with me, but you were the last person I started talking to, baby, and you're the girl I picked. Yeah? Yeah. There's women that I could have got with that don't have kids, that don't have a lot of bills and have careers, and I chose Taylor over that. I'm in love with her as a person. Because what are you doing? Who do you talk to? You're a female. You expect me to think you're not talking to any guys at all? Yeah. No guy friends. Now you're making me wonder, though, because if you can't trust me and I haven't done nothing but be honest with you, you wouldn't even know about these people. I didn't have to bring this home. When I was in prison talking to you, I never had to tell you about anybody. I got chicks I was talking to in Kentucky, Ohio, South Carolina, New York, Florida. I didn't have to tell you about none of them people. Baby, you sound like a hoe. I sound honest. That's what honesty is. Take it or leave it. You don't like it, get the f out the road. You know what I'm saying? That's how I feel. Because why would you doubt me? Because you had a whole year to take all these off. Yeah, and you had a whole year to take all your ex-boyfriends off your f phone. Oh, yeah, OK. Yeah? Touche? Jake is Taylor's ex fiance and unfortunately, he passed away. And she's got his pictures all over the place, all over her phone, all over her Facebook. And it makes me wonder, has Taylor really moved on? Come here. I don't feel comfortable investing all my time and energy and love in a family where the person I love is still caught up on somebody who will never be there. I respect your baby daddy, the one that passed. That's unfortunate. And I'm sorry to hear that. And I know that the girls are hurting for that. But he's gone. I'm just wondering, like, are you having a hard time letting go? It's not that I'm having a hard time letting go. I've learned how to cope with that, and I've moved on past that. But it was traumatizing, and it was something that yeah. it hit me really hard. I have grieved, and I have moved on from it. But it's hard just because he was my first love. And I do see a lot of Jake and my daughters. But are his pictures up for you? Or are they up for the kids? There's not pictures in the kids' room. Like, they're on your phone, they're on your Facebook, and it's kind of making me get the impression like it's for you, baby. That's all. But I mean, but look, I- You have to understand, like, one day whenever they do get older and they get curious and they want to know about him, I'm going to have that picture. I want them to know that when he was alive, we were happy, we were a family, and yeah. I don't want to take that away from them. I don't want to take it away from them either, OK? I want to be here for you guys. I want to support that. I'm not here to take his place. I'm just here to pick up what he left behind. I do feel like the photos need to be taken down. I feel like they should have been down before I ever came home. God works in mysterious ways, and I want a family so bad. And now I'm here with you and your family, you know? And I want it to be our family, because I love you. Where does my picture fit in with all these other pictures? Where am I going to find my place on the wall? You trust me? I'm working on it. <laughs> <laughs> you have to make room for me if you want me here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.